episode of an antique dealer in the middle of winter, in the middle of COVID episode. As we have been talking about tobacco paraphernalia, I thought that after the cheroot cutter episode, I wanted to know what a cheroot was. So I looked it up and a cheroot, I have lovely pictures. So these are the leaves of the cheroot and they, they look pretty large. So they would be rolled in cut up tobacco like one would roll a cigarette. And when they are finished, they look like this. So kind of, I guess that's how the cheroot cutter would cut them. But then I found my cheroot holder. And then I borrowed a cigarette from someone I know who smokes. So here's the cheroot holder. It's not very big, so I'm assuming that these are not very big either, just mini cigars. And this one is special because, oh my gosh, <laughs> seriously. It has a gold band around it and the band is marked. I don't know if you can see the markings. Uh, they're pretty tiny, but it was made, um, honestly, it was made in Birmingham. It was made in Birmingham sometime in 1906, so, and it has this really cool amber bakelite on it, love, but this is pure gold. I don't exactly know what the top is made out of something non-flammable. It's not ceramic. Maybe it is on the ends. I don't know. So I took this cigarette and this cheroot holder and I pop it in and what I found, first of all, I had two of these cigarettes. I tried to cut one with the cheroot cutter and that didn't go very well. So, but when I put it in, there is so much play in there. So I am assuming this is just a king size normal cigarette, I guess. So king size normal cigarette, obviously bigger than the cheroot holder. So they would use these, I'm assuming men, if it's women as well. You can tell me, I don't know, I'm just assuming men. I assume that women had the longer cigarette holders, um, you know, the super thin ones, of which I know someone I can borrow one from to show you. So they would put their cheroot in here and smoke it and not burn themselves, I guess. This currently is on our Etsy page, so if you are interested in purchasing it, the rest of the information is there. And this has been another episode brought to you by H&L Antiques, um, a day in the life of an antique dealer at home with her dog and the cheroot holder in the middle of winter, although we have a lot of sunshine today, so super happy about that um but still during covid we have a lot of people getting sick so uh don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any comments that's great if not uh that's great too no nasty comments please can't handle it hurts my heart i haven't had one yet I haven't had any comments yet, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'll figure that out later. Thank you for stopping by, and we shall see you again.
remember, smoking is bad for you, according to the Surgeon General, but once again, owning smoking or tobacco paraphernalia, as far as I know, does not cause any health issues or sickness, unless you've been in contact with someone who has COVID and you're currently smoking your cheroot in your cheroot holder and you're passing it back and forth and you could probably get sick, but like really who would do that? No one, I hope. I don't recommend it. I'm sure Health Canada doesn't recommend it. So just wanted to put that in as a last minute. It's okay. I'm not judging you if you smoke. I'm just saying what the Surgeon General says. She says hiding a vape in her hand. See, I'm not judging. Just saying, Surgeon General says. This has been brought to you by H&L Antiques. You can find us on Etsy. Don't forget to like and subscribe.